there's a really important test that you can get that can help someone screen out cancer. And so when you go to the doctor and you get a blood test, I would always recommend getting this one test. Unfortunately, a lot of doctors don't use this test. I don't know why they don't, but it can be a very good test to help screen out cancer, determine if you have cancer, and to the severity of how much damage there is in the cell. When the cell dies or it ruptures because of some trauma, it leaks out certain things. And one of the things that'll leak out is an enzyme called lactate dehydrogenase. Okay, anytime they have ACE at the end, that means it's an enzyme. So without getting too technical, this enzyme basically generates energy for the cancer cell. And it's involved in a certain biochemical pathway that involves converting something to lactate, thus the term lactate dehydrogenase. And so without this enzyme, the cancer can't get any energy. So there are certain cancer therapies that they're looking at to target this enzyme. It's a test called lactate dehydrogenase isoenzyme test. Now, the only problem with this test is it doesn't tell you specifically what type of cancer you have. So I'm going to kind of go through some things because this can actually be very helpful. So if you look at tissue damage in this enzyme, let's say, for example, you had a heart attack. Well, you're going to find higher amounts of this enzyme in your blood. If you had a stroke, okay, that's damage in the brain. So you're going to find higher amounts of this enzyme. If you had kidney disease or liver disease, you're going to find higher amounts of this enzyme. Anything that involves destruction of the cell could raise this enzyme. And of course, because cancer destroys your cells, you will also find high lactate dehydrogenase involved in cancer. Now, there are five different types of this enzyme. And so if you get this test, it might be helpful if you get all of the enzymes, okay? And it goes through one through five, and they're called isomers, abbreviated LDH. So depending on what specific number you test positive for, you can determine what part of the body that you have a problem in. So it might be helpful when you order the test to make sure you get all those isomers. So what this test won't do is tell you what specific type of damage that you have, but it will tell you you have damage and the severity of damage in your cells. Cancer cells hog glucose way, way more than normal cells. So this test can be valuable because it can give you an indication of cell tissue damage. You can also use it to monitor progress over time. Now, a normal adult would have a range between 140 and 280 units per liter. But of course, if someone's a lot younger, like even an infant, they're going to have much higher values. There's some other things that you need to be aware of too. So if you did intense excessive exercise and it's very high, realize it's probably from the exercise. Certain uh, coaches are using this test for their Olympic athletes to determine um, how much damage is occurring after a workout and if they're overtraining or not, which could be valuable as well. The other thing is if you're taking a lot of vitamin C, that can reduce the amount of this enzyme to give you kind of a false picture of what's happening. So I just wanted to point that out too. Also certain drugs like aspirin, narcotics, and even alcohol can raise this enzyme, giving you kind of a false picture of what's happening inside the body. But anyway, I wanted to bring your awareness up on this test because I think it could be very beneficial to screen out certain things, to potentially catch a problem before it becomes a really big problem. And since we're on the topic of cancer, if you have not seen my recent video on what I think is one of the best protocols for cancer, okay? and especially for prevention. I put that up right here. Check it out. 